So anyways, what we got here is an early mid 70s Federer's medium chassis, 20,000 BTUs per hour. Got this for free when I was a kid, probably when I was 14 or 15 years old from a friend. It's a very cool front panel. It is. I like that. I That's assume that, that that plastic was originally stark white when it was new. Yes. And so here's the, the weird part. This was sitting on its back for years and it was outside for a bit. As soon as this one, and it was, it was a little yellow, but it wasn't too bad. Once it put into my shed or, and once it got covered up, that's when it really turned yellow. The moisture. That's what, that's does, what does it. That's what does it. Okay. Yeah. So it's not only the UV rays, it's the moisture. The sun there. and the moisture. Which I actually is... think the moisture is worse. <laughs> okay. Because there was a couple of things like that Hampton Bay 5K had that in storage for a couple of years, which was very humid. And it was nowhere near as bad as it was when I took it out, you know, yeah. originally. So, okay. or maybe that was inverted, whatever. It got worse in storage. Stupid gotcha. inversion. That's the same thing here. But other than that, it's pretty good shape. It's got a big ass Copeland two pole, believe two cylinder compressor. Mm. Don't know what horsepower, whatever. Too bad it's not a Rotorex. <laughs> Somebody a, a say little, Rotorex? It's a little yes. too old for that. It's probably about a year, year or two. Too what old year was it? Uh, seventy something. If you mm. want to pull the grill off and get I, the uh, the oh, data tag. I thought they yeah, started get, making you know, Rotorexes in the mid seventies. Let's get Kevin to tell us when it was made. Well, this one's too old to have the same uh, serial number convention. Carefully wiggle it off. Stupid way. I'll look, but I don't think I'm going to be able to decode it. I'll get the camera on oh, there. Man. This doesn't have a date code on it. I wasn't expecting that. Was that a spotted lantern flash? Yes. yes. Smash to Blue kill. There, kill them all. Those are bad. They are bad. Yeah. The, the black Those gun. need to be canceled out. Yeah, they do. No, I, I don't know how old this is. I can't date this thing. Uh, the capacitor probably has a date code on it. Yeah, that's true. Two. 20,000 BTU. That's crazy. 3,500 watts. That's crazy. <laughs> is, it, is it dual voltage or what 230? Is that, it's uh, no, 230. 230 on what does that make the EER? Um, six something. What, what's the watch? Six. That's horrible. Yeah, well, I mean, 20K in a small package. That's fair. So. I would rather buy two 10,000s of this size and put them side by side. Mm. Well, isn't that kind of what we did? <laughs> I would too, just for the sake of, you know, nice that are humid. I know some people prefer just to blast as many BTUs as possible and live in a swamp, if but I like you, to tone it down. And if you got it, why not? You know, if you can put two thirty sixes in, why not? So over thirty six and a thirty four. The, the ER is five point five five. There you man. go. That's horrible. That's like the that's the worst thing I've ever seen. That's bad. All right, you ready for it? Low yep. fan. It's not the quietest thing out there. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Though. I thought, it must be my memory, I thought it was going to be worse but, than what is, but this is low, so. It's not it moving. Gets louder from here. It's, it's not just, moving a whole lot of air, though, for the noise oh, anyways. Wait. But it was there. Oh, cool. Normal. Super cool. Yeah, that is, that's getting pretty loud. And that sounds like a lot of that's evaporator noise, too. Yep. But it does move a hell of a lot of air on the Probably not. But it's also going through a very thick coil. I think it's like a yeah. five, five or six. Yeah. Wow. wow. Well, nah, I think it's five. Five layer on this. It's been a while since I've seen how thick the evaporator is. Yeah. You want to put it between fans? Yep. Try to... Compressors on that side. Fire primary. Hey, nice case. Yeah, not bad. It takes five seconds, and this thing's already full. Oh yeah, I cleaned it out. 
Yeah, I, I, ah. used, I, put, ah. I put in the window one season, only got used twice. Once, one time I fired up, one time the other camera was fired up. And that was it. That's getting really hot. Oh, it gets, it gets 200 so worse. like a carrier. Oh, that thing gets cooking on the back. I guess it's no surprise considering how compact it is. And how thick like that coil is, yeah. That's a that's good coil. Oh, wait. Got my happy spot back. Yeah. Nice little walks in front of the happy oh, spot. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's I'm hot. glad the guard's on the coil. Since it's in the sun, I mean, it's looking at compressor oil. Yeah. That's, that's pretty toasty. Yeah, yeah that's hot. I think it was 2014 or 15, I think I got this. That's before we moved, I didn't have to be funny. So I, 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 I had this thing, I took it apart, it like, sprayed it out and everything. I was like, yeah, really cool and neat, but I don't know if it didn't even have to work or not. Because I had no power to power it up. Big cook was in it. It was cooking all the yummy back there. It's getting carried around back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's not like a Fetters. No, it doesn't need like a Fetters at all. Oh, it's a Fetters all right. Is the carrier hotter than this? Uh, Oh yeah, carrying the first wire. Oh, it was right now. I cut it. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, it works great. Looks like somebody tried to carry it from the back. Yeah. It's yeah. It may or may not have been me, I don't know. Or it didn't like that when I got it. Yeah, they got the side panels on it. Yeah, which is good because you can carry it with the window kit. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yeah. Not far. I mean, how bad is it if you have a pressure side? Oh, oh that's, that's, that's in the fan side. You probably call it that side. Yeah. It's just heavy. Oh, yeah. 3,500 bucks. That's, that's like too spacey. That's a lot of. Yeah, she ain't shy about the juice, but when it works this good, that doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. No. Nah. Right, it's probably putting out what? In the 40s? That's near the refrigerator. There is, yeah. But it's probably good 80 degrees out. It's not and exactly. 78, 80 with, I mean, it's low humidity, so it doesn't have to work that hard. But. Yeah, that's, that's getting pretty hot. Yeah. I guess that's normal, though. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, they're clean. Trust me, it has the new right now. Well, it's like a four layer thick condenser. Yeah, that's here. Maybe five, I think it's four. Four layer thick condenser. If they made, you know, fan, fast food company for that, it would just be interesting. Yeah. It is, it's a yeah, Copeland. Copeland, whatever the model is. Probably an SR. I guess. All I know That's is. That's what the Ameta I have. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's pretty much the same compressor my 16K uh, Copeland Ford Noises has in it. And I got a 17K um, well built a square vent. That's 17. flat. 17. That's loud. It's about as loud as this. Now, is that the same chassis as the Super Alaska? No, no, it's not. It's not. I would love to find a super Alaskan. There was one in Porter's episode. I know, I did. We've all seen that before. Philadelphia, but you know how big Philadelphia is. Yeah. Yeah, my hand is in freaking Arizona. <laughs> it could be in Alaska right now. Above <laughs> yeah, the Arctic it could Circle. Be. Now it's a field cold because it's a lot. It's ice. The 18K Whirlpool gets pretty hot, too. Yeah. But that, again, it's a, it's a relatively small weeks. chassis for that size. Yeah. Yeah, she runs good. Yeah. Is the fan ball bearing? I have no idea. It's probably sleep. That's amazing spit down time. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's a awesome. hot I don't think I will. I might try the oil it, but I don't think I I forget if there are oil ports on the motor. And if there are, they then need to get you into it. It's not where it's like, it still it probably would be if it's that old. Yeah, you would think. But then, but then freaking GE comes along for the damn sealed motor. Yeah, well, GE is freaking even GE. 
Bugs. I've always had good luck with your bugs. Sealed or not. Well, except that one sealed motor that um, caused for like something for us. I have two, but there's no beating on the bush. Genius serviceability is always louder now. So also have oil ports. So it wasn't oil ports. You think by now, if they were installed because they're usually right, right there, right? Just yeah. a little plug out and drop your oil in here, good. The permanently sealed ones, obviously, you got to care about the other part just gets in the freaking thing. Yeah. And if you're the motor part, you got to do it. Yep. Plugs out to uh, go in the higher. Yeah, I want to get a temperature gun on that condenser. Uh, the, um, the meter's in the studio, on the studio bench. And that's got a one hell of a thick filter on it right now. So, oh, so it might be lacking so some airflow? Yeah, I'd be curious to see what the full airflow is. Those clips really annoying. They're so easy to break because yeah. they're so stiff. So, well, I'm more? I think so. I would hope so. Put this back on so I don't get any circ on that. Yeah, it's cold top to bottom. Oh yeah. That's yeah, better. Yeah. So no well look how thick that. That's a really good filter though. It is. Where'd you get that from? I then that came with the unit. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's 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 I don't know if it's factory or not, but it came with the air. No, there's no way that that would have survived. Plus, it probably would have originally had a metal filter. Yeah, it might have metal or uh, maybe, maybe foam. If it was foam, it would have rubbed a lot of air. Now it's moving now. more air. What? Now it moves more air! All right. There's so many things, like the neighbors probably already think I'm nuts. There's so many things we do that just offer confirmation. Yeah, well, I mean, they're not wrong. That's, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I feel bad for uh, my I don't know. I'm too far as hell away. Well, I'm just going to put up with me either one. Unfortunately, <laughs> I won't have that option. And honestly, I want a small yard anyway. It's less grass to have to cut. That's less space to build more than building up. That's less space you know to store air one. conditioners. Yeah, yeah. Less space to store cars. <laughs> That's so cold. You don't mind that. Where's the temperature? I don't know. We're waiting on the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, for I'll... heaven's sake. Right. On the bench on the left side. Oh, we sit on the bench. This is too on the pegboard. Yeah, these vents, they're pretty stiff, but. What's the power factor? No idea. We ain't got one of those 21 stuff. I don't think that it exists. Really? Yeah, I'd be around the line by now. Yeah. With... They make something. Yeah. Make it for 110, no problem. Yeah, I don't see where it will be. It's honestly one of the guys who runs here. It's loud, it's leave on high. Yeah. And it's yeah. the first time I've gone down the community out. Yep. As you're well more on whatever. Yeah, that's what permanent and uh where it takes a grain of electricity. Because of the uh the temperature just being operates at, I would probably leave it on high. Well yeah, leave on high. Oh, 
about 80. It's by I think it's low in that one now, a little bit. But we have the sun on us. That's on high. Not that there's much of a difference. There's no difference. Well, it's about the three. That's very respectable. What's the condenser? Do you even want to know? Nine million degrees. We have to melt steel, even though it's made out of steel and aluminum. Maybe smelt some, uh, smelt some things. Probably jump to the probably 130, 140 real quick. 135, 190. That's under no load. Well, it's under load now. Oh, yeah, so it's not that hot out. No, it's not going down anything either. It's just dumping the air right in the room. That's not too bad. Not as bad as the carrier. No, it's not. Uh, well, you said the carrier came from 172. I thought 217 was the highest. <laughs> no, I mean, it was also 102 degrees out. Well, well I had to send you but yeah. <laughs> I think it was like 105 in the house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, it's like a greenhouse in that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd be like blacked out currents. Freaking. Well, I put the shades on this one. That'd be huge. Oh, yeah. yeah. That probably cuts the run time like in half yeah, of the quarter. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the fun in that? Well, that's why the shades are open. <laughs> <laughs> when the light bill comes, it's not fun. Yeah. Well, the light bill comes all the time. It don't, it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> shades are yeah. no shades at once. I love how in December it just goes <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> like it's like four times the amount of consumption. More than that. <laughs> I figure you guys are George Fredders. I'm like, yeah, I haven't really shown this thing off too, well, too much. Yeah, I like this machine. That's a, I think they posted a video of it. I think I did. That was like four years ago or something. Oh, well. Friendly neighbors. Yeah, we're a good neighborhood here. That makes a pretty significant difference in the uh, condenser temperature. Look at how fast that dropped. How high was it? 147 point something. Yeah, 148. And I'm sure the power is going down quite a bit with that, so I would imagine so. Long yeah, that's why these should really always be run on high up here. If you can stand the noise. That's what I was saying. This like, one you can't. If it's a good garage unit, you, know, you can put it away far, you know, somewhere far away in the window. On the other side, you can work on the other side of the shelf. Yeah, like it, it's up here, man. Or if you live in a loft or something. something yeah. I mean, in the machine defense, 20,000 square feet. That's a big room. It is. So the sound would get absorbed by the room. By the room, and everything in it. Yeah. He's got to have every stuff in it, but yeah. considering it's us, it. that ain't no problem. <laughs> we got plenty of sound there. That rust screaming about the power factor and Ohm's Law, that'll throw a lot of stuff. Yeah, he really went on quite the ramp before, like. Yeah. Problem with these whirlpools. Yeah. A squirrel pool. What was wrong squirrel. with it? As Angrod likes to call them. A squirrel pool. It should be a damn squirrel cage. <laughs> it should be. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. What's, I think that West House is a paddle. Is that a paddle plate too? Yep, that's I think why they're so loud. Yeah. That's so dumb. 